I will discuss how to image all your important disk data, including the operating system, application files, and your user data. Any type of hard disk can be imaged, such as IDE, SATA, rated disks, and SSD, solid state disks. Optical CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray discs can be imaged completely. Removable disks like flash memory cards and USB memory sticks can be imaged. In the event of data loss, any image can be restored to its original condition. ActiveAt Disk Image has various methods for operating with disk image files. I'll provide a brief explanation of each method. The purpose of Disk to Image is to copy all occupied disk space onto the image file. This type of operation can be done while Windows is running by utilizing a snapshot. The size of the image file is the same or smaller than the original data. The purpose of a raw image is to copy all disk space on a bit-to-bit -bit level, which can be helpful for imaging uncommon operating systems. The size of the image file is the same as the whole disk space, unless compression is used to reduce the image. The purpose of the clone disk operation is to directly copy the whole disk to another disk. The target disk should be large enough to contain the occupied data. The Explore image gives you the ability to view the contents of an image and copy selected files or directories from the disk image file. The Verify image operation confirms the integrity of the image to be correct and precise. An image file serves as a backup should anything go wrong with your system. The purpose of Image to Disk is to restore your data from the image file back to the original disk or a new disk. Should the new disk be a different capacity, disk partitions may be resized. A scheduled task allows you to automate the imaging process by running in the background. You will be able to create daily, weekly, or monthly scheduled backups of your desktop or server systems.